Now on that, uh, earlier this week, I spoke to the executive chairman of arguably the best football league in the world, Richard Scudamore. I began by asking him the billion dollar question. How had he managed to market the English Premier League so well around the globe? Listen in. Well, it starts with the clubs. I'm, I'm, we're lucky to have some of the world's leading clubs and always have. And therefore, in 1992, when the league was formed, those big clubs were very much part of that. Um, and, along, and we've grown other clubs. Most importantly is the football competition. We produce competitive and compelling football. Competitive in the sense any team can beat any other team. And that produces very compelling viewing. And that's really what we are marketing around the world. We stick to what we are. We know what we are. We're 20 teams. They play each other home and away. 380 games, 380 events. Honest, passionate, lots of fans, lots of interest. And that's really what we are. Richard, the Premier League prides itself on the ability to draw superstars from around the world. But are you concerned with the rising financial clout of the Chinese clubs? Does it pose any danger for the Premier League's popularity? Uh, no, I don't think so. We've always had players that have left our league for other leagues. Um, we welcome the competition in many ways. Um, and, and also, how could we possibly you know, be worried about other leagues coming along and doing what our clubs do all the time? Our clubs use their financial muscle to acquire talent from abroad, acquire talent from within English football. So we can't sit here and be, uh, be worried or concerned about that. And again, as I say, it comes back down to history, club brands, competition, the competitiveness of the league, there's a whole host of other factors, so we're not, uh, we're not worried about that now. And Richard, since you're in India, a word on Indian football, the Premier League entered into a partnership with the Indian Super League a few years ago. What do you make of the current standard of Indian football and do you see a marked improvement in a sense from earlier years? Well, we've been you know, very, very pleased with our partnership with the ISL and we've been watching with great interest to see the way it's grown. Obviously, from that first season back in 2014, the growth in 15, 16, audience growth, the competitiveness of the league, the way the football's been played. And uh, again, you know, it's been a great partnership to watch. We've had a lot of the club executives come over to see us. We've had some of the, the young players and the youth development people have come to see us. We've learned a lot from them. I hope they've all, uh, learned a lot from us. And so the whole growth of the ISL has been, uh, has been great to watch. So also getting back to the EPL, uh, Richard, what distinguishes the Premier League from the other top European leagues is that anyone can beat anyone in the league. I mean, last season, Leicester City winning the Premier League was a fairy tale story, but more shocking this year is their performance this season. Yeah, I, I think uh, I would agree with all of that. Uh, it, 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 I couldn't expand on any more than what you've said. I said competitive and compelling, I think, is what turns people on. Played in full, of, in, in full stadia. So when you've got stadia that are 96, 97% full, making a noise, the whole intensity of the football, the interest in the football, I think that's really probably what stands us apart. Final question to you, Richard. Even as English football and especially the Premier League's financial cloud grows, the English national team hasn't benefited and we've even seen it in the Champions League. The last English winner was Chelsea. Is that a bit of a concern to you? Uh, no, I mean, we would love, of course, as a football fan, I'm English, I've been watching the England team since I can remember. I'd love England to do well. There's nothing really the Premier League has done that stops England doing well. Uh, we're a small country. We are you know, only 60 million people. There are now over 200 countries playing international football. They're all trying to, to, to win, win tournaments. England you know, are managed by somebody else. They're managed by the Football Association. But clearly, I don't think there's anything we're doing um, that holds England back. In fact, the opposite, the amount that the clubs are investing in talent, the amount of clubs that are investing in in uh, youth development, the whole system is geared to bring his, the best English players through. And we're seeing those English players make their debuts. I think we've had over 35 debuts already this season in the Premier League um, from, from those, those homegrown talents. So we're doing all we can, but it doesn't mean to say England are going to win a football match, which leads us on to the second part of your question. You know, the Champions League, when it gets to the knockout stages, is exactly that. It's a knockout. It's a cup competition. And as we see in our own domestic cup competitions, you can get some, some very interesting results. You know, when you know, Lincoln City beat, uh, beat uh, Premier League opposition, you know, this can happen. And therefore, you know, we will win the Champions League again at some point in the X number of years. But I just don't quite know when, uh, but it will happen. It will happen. Let's hope it's Liverpool, the club I support.